the final tutorial on the stats section of the RPG system series. Um, in this section, I'm mostly going to cover just adding extra methods and extra small functionality to the uh, stack collections class that we created, um, just so we can have a better, better handling of these stats from uh, external scripts for later on. Um, one additional thing, uh, this um, tutorial is probably not going to have all the small changes. I've uh, been working on this on the side. And um, this is mostly just going to be the collection script. Um, I think I modified a few other scripts, but I forget which ones. So after this tutorial, um, feel free to jump down into the com or the description and click the link to the GitHub uh, repository and download the latest version of this uh, script. Um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much all. Uh, we're going to have the latest version after this, and hopefully we'll be I'll be going to a different section of this system and starting on something new. But anyway, let's uh, jump on in to our uh, stack collection and start adding the new uh, stuff. So we're, we're just going to start jumping from the top to the bottom and have a good time. So uh, let me get this up. I have my, oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, yeah, this is it. Okay. Let's start from the top and work our way. There is a lot to uh, implement here. So we have our dictionary at the top. We're going to add a additional... We're going to add a property that's just going to be of the same type as our dictionary, just so we can access our list of stats from outside of this uh, collection. So stat dict. All this is going to have is a getter. And inside here, we're going to be checking if our stat dictionary equals null. And if our stat dictionary equal, if, well, I'm saying it. If it's null, we're setting our stat dictionary to a new dictionary. And after this check, we're just going to return the stat dictionary. So if we access our stat dictionary and it's not initialized yet, it will initialize it. So there's that. Now the next thing is our constructor. Um, I'm going to be changing how our stat collection has worked. It's no longer just going to be an individual class. We're going to be changing this into a mono behavior since we're going to be tossing this onto a game object. And this will be easy for drag and drop. And later on, we'll be creating a uh, entity script, which will have access to this collection. And that's how we'll access it. But yeah, anyway, we're going to be inheriting from mono behavior. So this public constructor that we're doing, we're going to change it to a private void. And we're going to do it on awake. So as soon as this is comes awake, we're going to do this. We no longer need this uh, stat dictionary right here since our uh, property up here will initialize at all times. Though, we're going to want to find pretty much all instances of our stat dictionary and replace it with our property. So it looks like we only have three here, besides the ones inside the uh, property, of course. Uh, let's see, we're not going to be doing anything to our configure stats since we're going to leave it empty because the idea is that you can add a empty collection to here later on and you can initialize it if you want from an external script. Um, okay, we'll just keep on going. I'm going to change uh, contains to contain stat just for a little bit more clarity. Uh, let's see, keep on scrolling, um, get stat and get all oh, this looks correct. It's not what we want. These add modifiers, I'm going to remove the list. I'm no longer going to support a list. You can if you want, but in this instance, we're not going to go with it. Um, add stat modifier is going to change a little bit. It's going to be RPG stat type and the type or, well, not type, but target. The target stat and the modifier we're going to add, since in the last video we removed the uh, stat type from the modifier. So this is how we'll be adding modifiers to stats. 
And in we're not actually going to implement it in here, but we're going to do another. Well, actually, let me just copy paste this. Since we're going to be doing an additional method or additional or add modifier with one more parameter, it's going to be bool update. So what this update is going to do is, since we have our uh, update modifiers, functions, call, and stats, this is going to automatically call that if this is set to true. So let's uh, implement these. In the first one, we're just going to call add modifier target mod and false because we don't want it to actually update uh, just by default. We're going to make you uh, call the update method. So in here, in the add modifier, we're going to go if contains stat target. We're going to do some stuff. We're going to get the we're going to get the mod stat, the modable stat. So uh, equals get stat target as i stat modifiable. Now, since not all stats can be modified, um, we're going to go stat. If this does not equal null, we're going to we can modify it. So in here, we're going to be doing uh, mod stat. Well, wait, Oops. mod stat dot add modifier mod. And then we're going to check if we want to update it. And if it's true, go mod stat dot update modifiers. Cool. Uh, I'm going to copy paste some uh, debugging just so uh, we can see what's going on if some issues arrive. So if the stat does not equal null, we're going to debug just trying to add a stat modifier to a non modifiable stat. And then we're also going to do another one at the end of the if. Trying to add a stat modifier to target stat, but the stat does not, or the collection does not contain the stat. Oops. Let's see, but RPG stat collection does not contain. Yeah, fix that. Um, Actually, some of these, uh, I'm going off some old code that I have. OK, so that's all for the add modifier. I'm going to just uh, skip down and go public void, remove stat modifier. And yeah, we're going to pretty much copy paste this previous code. And the only difference is, let me rename these. So yeah, that's uh, what we're going to do. Um, in here, actually, we can uh, just copy paste our add modifiers into our remove and change the call to add modifier to remove modifier. And rename these trying to move that fire modifier from non modifiable stat. Trying to add to remove stat modifier from. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. And then moving on farther, after remove, we'll uh, implement the public void clear stat modifiers. And this will clear all stat modifiers, but we're not going to implement it just yet. Also do clear stat modifiers again, this time passing a bool update. And we're just going to continue on until we get to the very one. Just like our remove, we're going to call several different functions. So next, we're going to have clear stat modifier. Actually, I'm going to change these from uh, clear stat modifier to clear. Uh, how about let's just name these clear all since so it's just not an S at the end of them changing the name. And this one's going to be clear stat modifier, RPG stat type. Copy paste this and add. Oops. Uh, da -da -da -da. I forgot to add the name. So we're going to say bool update. Okay, so these are the ones that we want. So down in this bottom one, clear stat modifiers, I'm going to copy and paste our remove. And 
in here where it says, oops, uh, let me change this target instead of type, just so it stays. So instead of remove stat modifier, we're going to go dot clear stat modifiers. All that. Um, let's see. We'll change this to clear stat modifiers from there and clear stat modifiers from there. Cool. Um, yeah, then we can uh, back up. Go clear stat modifiers, target false. Then come up here to clear all stat modifiers pool. And in here, we're going to go for each var key in stat dictionary keys. So we're going to jump through all the uh, stats inside our dictionary. Oops, I put a comma here. Remove that. And then in here, we're going to call our clear stat modifier. And we're going to do key and update. So we'll just call our base one down here. And in our clear all stat modifiers, our base one, we'll just call clear all stat modifier with false. Simple as that. So, well, oops, I, it's all stat modifiers. I missed that. Okay, then the uh, pretty much the final thing we're going to do in here is we're going to do our public void update stat modifiers. And we'll copy paste this again. But in the update stat modifiers, actually, I'm going to change this so we're going with update all stat modifiers and update stat modifier. So this one's going to be RPG stat type. We'll go with target. And this above one will be for each bar key and yep, in our dictionary dot keys, we're going to be updating them. Key. Cool. And then down here, we're going to again copy paste our previous one, paste it in here. And go dot update modifiers. Instead, we don't actually need this update since we're updating it. And then we'll just change this to update set modifiers and then update. Let's see, I believe that is everything we need for this. Yeah, we just added additional functionalities so we can uh, add, remove, and clear stat modifiers from our stats within our collection since our buffs and items later on will uh, be pretty much adding and removing modifiers as they're being equipped or applied throughout our game. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the uh, stack collection. I believe I have a few other small changes, but I do not know exactly where they are. So if you like to go down into the description, click on the GitHub link and download the latest version of this project. So during the next uh, couple of videos or the next section of the RPG system series, um, you'll be up to date and ready to go. Uh, I do not know if I'm going to be going down the buffs or items next, but we'll see. I have the starting item cl class video up right now. That was an old video, so I might actually remake it. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope it was helpful, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.